Let's talk about dolphin plastics. We've been on the Sunshine Coast since 2009. We're a family owned business. We employ around 14 full time staff members and we've got about 16 casuals. So we like to support local families and support local businesses. We have manufactured quality film products and then we have outsourced a lot of recyclable materials to make us as eco friendly as possible. We've got a multiple different industry sectors from agriculture, construction, through to healthcare aged care, hospitality, from the top of Australia all the way down to Hobart in Tasmania yep. and we've just recently started shipping over to Western Australia. We've been on Fishbowl since 2011. We were really looking for something that was going to improve our business in terms of our energy we managed to look significantly more at our cost of goods. It's really vital to myself, the general manager and the directors that we had an inventory management program that was catered to manufacturing as well as manufacturing a warehouse stock. We essentially looked at several different programs before yep. we looked at Fishbowl, none of which really fit the bill for us. We have been on the ocean support program with Fishbowl since we started and we find that's the most effective tool if we ever need things changed or amended or something that yep. really customises the program to how we want to use it. Yeah, to us it's always been really important to make sure that, you know, selling a product to a company is all good and well, right? But we need to be able to help when stuff doesn't go right and inevitably in the software world there's always questions. Glad to hear that the support's going well. But what's the biggest thing that Fishbowl, from a process point of view or a business point of view, what's, has it really changed in, in golf classes? What has it helped us achieve? A significantly managed our raw materials in the manufacturing side of our business yeah. more efficiently than what we've ever had before. So we buy them in sort of 40 ton or 50 ton lots and we yeah. need to drill that mine down to like 0.4 of a gram. So we need to be really specific about how much raw materials go into each product, where they're stored, how they're used and how it's costed. So that, that way we're working on the right GPs for and margin points for our product. We've also, we've got a lot of fluctuation in our industry with our raw materials, so we need to be really specific about what inventory we're using at what price point. So that has been a significant part of using Fishbowl for us, is managing what raw materials are at what cost. And we import a lot of raw materials, so we look at exchange rates and we're constantly trying to improve. Landed costs. Landed costs, we're yep. constantly trying to improve um, the pricing of our product in terms of um, an end user and also what we're looking at in terms of the margin point. Our raw materials are quite expensive and it's one of our largest expenses for the business, yeah. so that is considerable focus for us. You're kind of a little bit unique because Fishbowl is not an all in one product, it integrates with a bunch of accounting systems. Yes. And you have gone from reckon accounts to zero. That's correct, um, yeah. But from a Fishbowl perspective, did that change anything? No. Business has changed over time, industry yeah. software changes over time. Our account system is a sub-component and yeah. a necessary evil, basically. Yeah, if I could, I would yeah. just like to use Fishbowl, um, yeah. but unfortunately we still need to provide p for our accounting team and balance sheets, payroll, all of those yeah. necessary evils um, for running a business. So for us, the integration between Fishbowl and Zero was fairly easy for yeah. the word go. There wasn't any issues with us in terms of using two different programs. It happens all in the back. So I don't have to worry mm -hmm. about human error. The information that we are entering and using in Fishbowl is directly into Zero the next day. We don't have any issues with the integration at all. It's been fabulous. Works for our business. We wanted a system that was going to grow and yeah. be adaptable to changes and dynamics in our industry. We want to set ourselves apart from the other manufacturing providers yeah. across Australia. So we needed to look at our customer service and how we delivered our invoices and how our structure yeah. of our company was easy to deal with, we were customer friendly. So all of the features of Fishbowl had to play into that. It was one of those things that was awesome that we could just yep. transition from Reckon to Fishbowl, but continuing to use Fishbowl and using new features of Fishbowl and growing with Fishbowl has been one of those things that's keeping yep. us here. What was your memory or experience with implementation? And speaking to your staff really yep. gave me a good idea of what was going to make it as easy a transition for us. Really setting ourselves up to not just switch over in a two-week period, really looking at what our system was doing at the moment, transferring that information into a sort of training module yep. so that we could practice with the system. Get everything yep. organised before we went live. We yep. spent a six-month period looking at all of our data and all of our spreadsheets. So, and we've got over 15,000 call lines. We had to really structure all that information. And we didn't want to set ourselves up to fail. We yep. knew that it wasn't just going to be an overnight implementation of a new program so we wanted to make sure everything was done yep. properly and I think that's 
the telltale thing with most businesses. People want everything done now and it's really important to take the time to get it done right and that was the biggest thing for us. Implementation was really easy. There's always a teething period with anything new. Yeah, yeah. And we had different sort of IT level knowledge bases in, in my office, in my admin team. Mm -hmm. um, so it was about personalising the training for appropriate roles and yeah. we had fishbowl training on site, they were available over the phone. So for us it was really easy to sort of focus on each person's individual role as opposed to just a generic training and a generic rollout, yep. which enabled people to be a lot more familiar with the system a lot quicker.